What is the connection between Pondicherry and Tamil Nadu? Besides the fact that it is Tamil Nadu's neighbor, the former French territory had established the French Institute of Pondicherry. And as we know the French love culture, this institute has over 65 years archived photographs and documents of Tamil Nadu temple art, monuments and paintings. Right now, the institute is home to 1.7 lakh archived photographs captured between 1956 and 2000. we have 136000 black and white photograph taken between 1956 to 2000 and uh, the main uh, focus is on the temple art and also iconography as well as archaeological monuments and uh, some paintings murals etc and uh, the major collection is focusing on tamil nadu temple art ramesh kumar has been archiving photographs of some untraceable idols for over 25 years He has assisted the efforts of several researchers who have gone to various parts of Tamil Nadu and documented temple art. And apart from the Tamil Nadu temple art, we covered 11 states of India. Up to Kashmir, we visited and documented many of the archaeological and temple-oriented images here. And regularly, we used to bring out the publication. Thanks to their efforts, Tamil Nadu has been able to retrieve thousands of stolen idols. So we are. ready to help the government because it's a nation's uh, uh, heritage is gone into another country and uh, we are helping indian government and police and interpol to get back our idols to india and already many things many idols are come back but uh, still we are working on many cases the ifp has a systematic way of archiving we started documenting these temples in, since 1956 that's the thing and when we are uh, documenting these things no we systematically documented these images like a site and subject and uh, we documented in two different way one is uh, site that means if you know the particular name of the place then you can uh, uh, look into that particular temple uh, in the uh, physical archives and uh, similarly here we have the subject in the subject all the same kind of subject collected from different part of india it put into one place in alphabetic order for example the recent case alwar and the tirumangai alwar and uh, alphabetically it is in the alwar character and in alwar all the alwars are classed back then when a photo was captured the details were manually entered in a register the negatives would be pasted on a 6x6 index card these cards are still preserved in wooden drawers In the absence of proper documentation at these temples especially photographic evidence by government authorities idol thieves have it easy First they get replicas made then they send these to handicraft development office along with the original idols here the idols are claimed to be handicraft products and a certificate is obtained saying so this bypasses the idol trade ban and paves the way for export international collectors and museums then buy it from them how do the archives help in tracing idols when police learn about a missing idol they approach the institute when the police normally when they approach uh, to the french institute many times they may know the name many times they may know the place and sometimes they come only with the image and they don't know even the name of the statue and uh, that is more toughest for uh, for us to identify and uh, unveil the knots based on that evidence we try to compare with our existing image out of 4000 sometimes out of 1000 sometimes the hands are uh, cut into the pieces and sometimes the other part of the base or some uh, back side things will be removed then when you are looking into the subject uh, from the ifp collection to the uh, existing collection given by the idol wing police many times it's very tough because the image looks entirely different the tamil nadu government is showing interest in old temple idols only now but the institute has been doing so since the 80s nowadays the cases are because the court is appointed as a special wing for the idol idol wing cid department because of that many people are assigned particularly to work on that now all the fars sometimes known as the far is uh, created in uh, 60s 70s now now they are open up 
the old stories and they are very intensively focus on it and investigating and uh, trying to uh, open up the knots of the unfound uh, things we are working since very long time helping the police during the mgr period itself for patur nadaraja from london already that is also with the help of the french institute photo collection only they brought back the patur nadaraja and similarly mugambige temple in karnataka they stole and the st- uh, jewelries from the mugambige statues even the french institute archives uh, has those, those photograph based on that evidence only they got back the uh, stolen things while a huge credit should go to the institute's archiving facility the tamil nadu government's efforts in this regard have been found lacking the institute's director frederick landy says this needs to change a huge task, task uh, yes, yes. tamil nadu is very large mm. it's uh, tamil nadu population is higher than the than the french population yes. you have so many treasures so it's very difficult to to, to address this issue yes, yes. properly Mm-hmm. Uh, so i suppose there is a lack of money there is a lack of time there is a lack, lack of staff mm-hmm. uh, perhaps a lack of commitment for some people but frankly i think the the structures m- are probably uh, correct mm-hmm. but uh, but as i said the task is uh, immense